Do the latest Me Journal updates pose a threat to designers and other creative professions? How to curb this neural network for your own benefit? How to use it for free, privately, and what services you need to use so that the neural network gives out exactly what we want, without errors and in maximum quality? Let's start with a quick installation and use instructions for Midjourney for beginners. So, the first thing we do, we write a Discord here, open the first link that comes along and download, if we have Windows, then for Windows, if Mac, then for Mac. After we have downloaded the Discord, we naturally install it. After that, we have a registration, where we have to enter our user email and password. After we have filled in the data, click continue, confirm that we are not robots, great, we get into the Discord window. Now we need to go back to the browser and open the journal here. We write in the search engine MeJourney, open the first link MeJourney.com, wait for the site to load and click here join the beta, after which I throw us into the Discord, we click join a MeJourney, again confirm that we are still a person. And here we are inside MeJourney, you and I need to go to one of these rooms 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's say we go into this one. We get into such a window, of course we have to confirm our account when registering in the Discord and we see a huge number of messages with pictures. In order to ask the neural network to make a picture, you need to drive a slash, press the following command and enter certain prompts here. For example, Pearl is purple, let's take a horse in Iceland, I hope I spelled Iceland correctly. We send a mentor and this window pops up for us. Look carefully, you may lose. We need to press the green button here. And now our message about the purple horse in Iceland has begun to be created. Here the percentage of creation is shown and for whom, that is, for me, and we are waiting for the image to be created. We got the result in four variants that we can open, view and also open separately in the browser, but we don't need it yet. You and I need to choose one of the four options that we want to continue. Personally, I like the last option the most, although each of them is also good. And in order to choose exactly this option, I need to click this button. It denotes the upscale of the fourth picture, that is, it will increase in size and you will get exactly this picture. However, you can click option 4, that is, choose this option and the neural network will come up with three more options from this option, it will just twist them a little and fantasize a little. The same logic applies to the first three pictures, that is, it will whitewash the first picture, option number 1 will make several more variants of the same picture. Let's try to whitewash the fourth option. We press, this button lights up in a different color, and if we squeeze into the very bottom about the scaling of the image at number 4 for such and such a user, that is, for me. And we get this picture, which we can open separately in the browser and save ourselves already on the computer and use in our work. Yes, you have 25 attempts for free, and then you will have to open your pocket and pay the developers. Which, by the way, I recommend you to do, because I think that you would also not like it if you were robbed. However, we all love freebies and there is a loophole how to make this neural network free for our creative pens, so also in a private chat, where we will communicate directly with the bot and no one will see our work. And now let's talk about how to make MyJourney free. To do this, we click the plus sign here and add the service. Here we choose our template for me and friends, enter everything we need, let there be a test UDIV server, click create. Great, we created a server, here it looks like this. Now we go back here and here in the right column we see this mid-journey bot, click on it and here we click on the add to server button. Now we have to choose the server itself, naturally we need our server, which we have just created. Click continue, leave all the checkboxes enabled, click authorize. We pass the captcha. A window pops up that tells us that we are logged in. We close it and go back to our server. And now we can use this service here privately. We press slash, we have all the commands, we choose and this time we write black PlayStation 5, press mentor and actually wait. And here no one bothers us, there are no huge number of messages, our image is not seen by other users. In general, it is as private as possible and as convenient as possible. But still, there are still only 25 free attempts, and I have already used two, so there are 23 of them.
how do we now make sure that in addition to this privacy, we also do it for free? To be honest, I use the paid version in another version of Discord. Here I have registered specifically for the video to show you the whole process and I advise you to use the paid version. We made Majorni private, and now we will make it free. In the upper left corner, where our server name is, there is an arrow like this, we click on it and click on invite people here. Next, we check here that we need to make this link indefinite, and also go to the gears and check that yes, it has no restrictions, yes it is indefinite. Click generate a new link, here we have it. We copy it and we definitely need to save it and not lose it, because we will constantly use it to enter the discord. I use notes for this and actually save it well in my notes. Now, what do we need to do? We need to get out of discord with you. How do we get out of discord? To do this, we go here on the gear, turn to the very bottom and click exit here. We're going out, great, that's it, now we're not in discord ourselves. Copy our link, we have already left the discord and now we go into incognito mode, be sure to go into incognito mode in Google Chrome and while in incognito mode, insert this link here, click enter. The next window opens for us and we kind of have to come up with our new name. I'll write there Yudiv999, I press the content. I will definitely need to fill out my date of birth now, of course I can put a random one, but before that I have to go through a captcha. I choose any date of birth, random month and random year, it doesn't matter at all. I click done and this is the window where I need to keep an email on sports, I can just skip it, just skip it, click on the cross and voila, I can continue to work in my previous picture, or rather not mine, but my previous user, so let's say, it was saved on this server. Since this is my server, only my pictures will be used here, so no matter how many times, you will always have the history of your pictures stored, and in my opinion this is insanely cool. Let's test it. I want to use prom and write a pink notebook here. Let's write a pink for laptop like this. As always, we agree and now we have a full 25 attempts again that we can use. Then, when these 25 attempts are over, we go back to notes, copy this link, go to Google Chrome in incognito format, insert this link and again go in the way we did with you now, and in the meantime the neural network generates a pink for laptop for us. Let's open it and see. Personally, I like all the options, but most of all the fourth option, it stands on a marble table and is a little more interesting, so I will choose the upscale of the fourth option. And so, in my private chat, I get a laptop made of meat, which I can open in a browser, save to my computer and use this image, in my buzz. There is a way to get its paid version for free, without these crutches at all. And I'll tell you about this method a little later, you watch to the end and find out what kind of threat Midjourney poses to yourself and for whom. The neural network will certainly displace weak performers from the market, leaving only the pros. It's good for the industry, I call it evolution. If you want to make cool design projects, learn how to do cool and enter the market. And if you want to try yourself in such areas as design, creativity, you can do it for free for training from me using the link in the description. You will get a bunch of video lessons, a private chat with students, a personal check of homework. Yes, and a certificate of completion of training. You don't have to pay anything. You just take it, click on the link in the description and start learning. And now how to create such images in completely different styles quickly, easily, and without strain. We need to drive in the right queries, prompta. They are all in English. But what if we don't know all the terms of all the trends in art? For example, in order for the picture to be cinematic, we need to add a cinematics promo. In order for the picture to be like in the game, we can add the steel Anril Engin 5, the engine is so new. If we want the style of street art or Picasso, we also need to make the prompts correctly. Otherwise, a neural network for us is just a thing to indulge in, not useful. But where to get all these styles, names, terms and instructions for making prompts? There are certain services for this, and let's look at some of them and figure out how to use Prompta correctly. The first, services that help to drive in more correct queries, and one of them is a nun jester. And let's make one request using this service. So, in the search field, we drive the nun shut, click the mentor and we open the link that has been exchanged. This is how the site looks like. After that, we are greeted by such a dialog box, and here our prompt will appear, which we will later copy and paste into the Discord itself. These panels here mean styles, we can choose the camera format, what kind of light will be, what material the picture should be made of, what quality, and so on. Now we will try to implement this. So, let's try to write orange shoe Nike Sport. We gave some water. Orange Nike Sport sneakers, well, you can be more precise through a translator and so on, but nevertheless. So, where can we go with you? 
we can go here in style and choose here that the picture is 16 bit, 1800 years, 1980s, 4 bits, and so on. That is, you can look through here, see, there are quite a lot of them, here in the horror format, so that they are at all, or in the format of such a nice age. There are many variations. You and I, let's choose the neon format. And here such a slider appears, it means how much this parameter will affect the picture. The more we naturally put, the more the neural network will still try to work in neon format, because we can put not only this, but also, for example, and this, and this, and configure how many settings there will be. But I will cancel and leave only neon here. Then I'll press the continuum. Let's go into the light and here I could choose again what kind of light it would be. I'll choose this very first one and put a little more here too. Click Continio, here you can choose a camera, macro lens, microscope, DCPR, but here I don't want to change anything. Here you can choose colors, but since we have already written that it should be orange, so in general I would not touch it either. Let's go into the materials and there may be aluminum, brick, bronze, carbon, that is, what kind of material will the object that you want to draw with the help of the MeJourney network consist of. Accordingly, to learn how to work with these wires, of course, you need practice. I'll tell you now, but without practice anywhere. Let's take latex, make it bigger too, press the contour. And so we got the next prompt. We copy it, go to the Discord with you, I go to my service and just insert this promo by pressing enter and waiting for what the neural network will do to us. So, look, we got two options, the first and the second. Now I will explain why there were two options so that you do not repeat the same mistakes as I just repeated. I completely forgot to put the maximum slider here in my main request, that this is the most important thing for me, that I need orange sneakers for their sports, and everything else is already additions. And since I put up many of these items even more than here, and here the request was like this on a single one, then, accordingly, the neural network did not give me anything at all related to sneakers at first. After that, I returned to the nun shot, increased it to 5, and now the neural network has given me the desired result. One of the four. Personally, I like the very first one the most, there are such latex airbags, so I choose the first option so that the boss makes a few picks and then I will do about the scale. But much better than any service is the very understanding of the principles of how prompts work. Let's take a look at practice, so that we don't have to worry too much about theory right now. We drive in the search engine Meet Journey prompt and click on this link, pay attention to Meet Journey. We have the following website opening and here it is described in detail how the prompt should look. Image, text and parameters divided into three parts. Let's enlarge this image a little bit, take a closer look again, but I know that this will not give us any details, so we go here to the Nexus section and then the Expo prompt. We go here and here we see different images, for example, Foul Carp, Cana Type, Graffiti and so on, Pixels Art. Accordingly, by driving in these styles, we will get the corresponding images, that is, if we want, for example, a drawing a law like this, drawn with a pencil, we have to drive in the continuous line style and we see how it is driven in. We have a team first, then there is a prompt, then there is a style and we just enter it. There are different selections here. Pay attention here we have specific, here we have years, in which century you may want to make an image. Here we have emotions, this is what I like to use, for example, a happy code. How to use color correctly in Prompta so that our main object changes its color. Let me try and see how it works. So I want to have an image of a penguin in this color. To do this, I copy this style, go to the Discord and enter my prompt here. Penguin I will write in 3D and 3D and set the style. For now, we'll just write like this, even without commas, click enter and see what the neuron will give us. As you can see, I have the fifth version of Mijani, there is a quality of quality too. Reality 2 is only available in the paid version. So, as you can see, we got a penguin really plus or minus in these ratings, but it's not what we expected. However, let's talk about the first option. That's what we got. And it doesn't look like a live penguin after all, it looks more like some kind of plastic figure and we got a little bit not what we wanted. Therefore, we need to use auxiliary services that will help us to drive an even more accurate prom that we got a really cool penguin. We drive lexicon art into the search and go to the first link that comes across. We get to the site here there are a lot of pictures, opening which we see certain prompts that we can simply copy and paste into the Discord, they will give us approximately a similar result, so this greatly simplifies the work. But in order for us to see how it actually works, since it doesn't exactly happen, let's choose any picture. I chose this image, copy the entire prompt completely, go to the Discord and here in the Discord I select the prompt already, click insert. Only here I'm changing our rabbit to a penguin, which is as strange as possible, 
but we'll see how it looks and how the neural network itself sees it. So, let's see what we got. Damn, I think it looks like fire. Of course, it's still not a penguin, the only penguin we have here is more or less like him, because I forgot to delete a few prompts related to things that push the neural network to make a rabbit after all. But nevertheless, we got the fourth option, and I suggest you ski and see what came of it. Open it in the browser. In my opinion, this is a cool cute penguin in the color scheme in which we wanted to get it. We can save this image and use it for our own purposes. But there is a search field here, by entering which we can view certain images. For example, we want to create something in the style of cyberpunk and we want to see prompts on this topic. We introduce cyberpunk and open it, take this image. And here we see such a big promo, where again, by changing some details, we can get the right picture in about the same style. Therefore, this site really greatly simplifies the work. I propose to take this image, copy the prompt, insert it into the discord and replace this phrase with a horse here. Imagine a horse in cyberpunk, I wonder what it will look like. However, we have a motorcycle helmet here. Well, let's see what she gives out, let's go. So, we got four options ourselves, and unfortunately, only one of them is really with a horse and that's where you can see a human ear. That is, it looks a little strange, but nevertheless we can try again to click the first option and finalize the dub of the Celsio. In general, if you know English, then it's really a plus to change a little prompta and use this site for the benefit of finding interesting solutions. And in addition to this, add stylistics using the prompts that me Johnny himself describes. Let's try to make 3D Angry Penguin. Here I enter 3Ds to choose the image that is most likely to suit me. Here is a good background, it will be easy to cut out, so we copy this promo and go with you to the Discord. Here we insert our prompt with you, here we change from this to this and go with you to see how to drive emotion. Great, we just copy this inscription with you, go to the Discord and here we put it and send it. Now let's see what kind of evil penguin the neuron will give us. So, we got four options again and not to say that this is an evil penguin, but rather some kind of surprised evil one. The most suitable option is this one, which is the third one in our account. And here are some more images that I managed to make using all this knowledge. And the most interesting thing is how to get a paid Majorni subscription for free. To do this, you need to subscribe to my channel, click on the bell, leave feedback about this video in the comments, you can just write thank you if you went. And within a month after the release of the video, we will already randomly play three subscriptions to Midjohn among you. Be sure to specify a way to contact you in the comments, otherwise we won't find you. Thanks for watching, see you soon.